Airman First Class Jerry O. Brumfeld has been in the Air Force for about a year. But already he controls multi-billion dollar GPS satellites at Schriever Air Force Base in Colorado. A lot of people my age don't have the opportunity. So it's a really great feeling every day coming into work. He is just one of a handful of people responsible for the care and maintenance of GPS satellites in orbit around the Earth. We always check the health of the satellite to make sure everything's functioning correctly. That way we can give the precise navigation signal and the timing signal. So um, pretty much we're always checking the health of the satellite. What happens in this small room has a global impact. Most people don't realize just how big of a role GPS plays in their day-to-day -day lives. A lot of people tend to think it's only used for navigation, making the compass obsolete. But there's so much more that GPS technology influences. It's not just navigation. It's navigation and timing. Uh, the timing signal for, from a, a civil and commercial perspective is perhaps more prevalent than the navigation signal because the timing signal is what uh, is used to run stoplights uh, throughout town, throughout the country. Uh, the timing signal is used to timestamp financial transactions, both on Wall Street and banking transactions around the world. Timing signal is used to uh, validate your credit card uh, when you put it in a uh, in an ATM machine or, or when you put it in a gas station to get gas uh, across the street. Uh, it's prevalent in everything that, that we do and, uh, as a nation, uh, and it's just amazing how critical GPS has become to our national infrastructure. And it's these airmen who help keep the 34 satellites in this critical system intact. This constellation is flown by young professionals, some straight out of high school with some pretty intensive training, some out of college who are our officers. They get, uh, some of them have engineering degrees and orbital science degrees and they're a very professional crew force and they take the responsibility of flying this constellation of GPS satellites extremely seriously um, and, and we as a wing understand our responsibility to the global community for flying GPS satellites. So it was designed as a military system and that's the primary focus. That's why we have military people at Schriever flying GPS satellites and delivering those effects around the world today. We take great pride in the performance that we deliver to the world. We understand how critically important it is and we are committed to delivering that level of performance. Uh, we have uh, 34 GPS satellites on orbit today. The requirement is to have 24 on orbit at any one time. Uh, the worst year in the history of GPS was the year 2000. We lost three satellites. Uh, so we have 34 on orbit. We're about to launch uh, two more in the next year. That gets us up to 36. If we had the worst year in the history of GPS, we still have over 30 satellites on orbit. It's the healthiest constellation that we've ever had, and we are very confident that we'll be able to maintain that level of performance in GPS now and well into the next decade. And it's airmen like Jerry O. Brumfeld who will be part of that future. The best part about it is knowing that I make a difference in everyone's life around the world. Um, GPS has such a big impact on the world. A lot of people don't know the things that goes and tell with it. So um, the economy, knowing that I have an effect on the economy, and I do it all from here, so it's a really great feeling. So the next time you make it to your destination without having to ask for directions or fill your tank with gas at the pump, you can thank the people who work in this room for the work they do. Tech Sergeant Steve German, Schriever Air Force Base, Colorado.